Adventures of Batman with Robin Boy Wonder. Batman and Robin, dynamic duo against crime and corruption, whose real identity is... Greetings, Bat fans. This is Batman. And Robin, the boy wonder. And me too, Batmite. Hey guys, um, I'm Superman. For those of you who don't know me, um, I'm one of Batman's closest friends. Uh, he's actually on tour at the time of this video promoting his new movie. So I'm here answering questions, doing interviews, getting in touch with smaller media outlets, covering Batman content until he returns. And since him and I are such great friends, um, I thought it would be good for me to rank some of these songs for him in his absence. And obviously those last two songs were absolute garbage. Um, the Adventures of Batman 1977 and 1968. I mean, it, it was more dialogue than anything. I, if I'm, I'm, it's a theme song, right? Yeah. If I want a theme song, I mean, I expect a harmonious melody, not a Shakespearean soliloquy. That's why they're sitting at number 10 and number nine on this list. Number eight. Okay, so this song was cool. I mean, it the show doesn't hold up too well. The, the CG doesn't sit right with a lot of people, but the, the, the theme song was very noir, right? Like Batman's a detective, black and white. I like it, Picasso. Number seven. <laughs> Okay, we're getting somewhere here. Adam West's Batman was very iconic um, for its time. Not very Batman-esque, the Batman I know. Doesn't conduct himself like that. But nonetheless, the theme song was, it was upbeat, lighthearted, matched the vibe of the show. The harmonious Batman. I mean, that that's something that everybody knows, right? Number six. All right, at number six, we have Batman the Animated Series, one of the best Batman cartoons to date. And um, I think this one was so good because it's just very dark, right? And it sets the tone of the show. Um, the theme song, it's, it's really good, it's catchy. Um, you know, we establish he's Batman, you know, right? And the lightning in the back, it's, it's very Gotham-ish and so good that, you know, it got its influence from Tim Burton's Batman. So, uh, I mean, great theme song, great show, standing tall at number six, which means we have some great more songs coming up. Number five. Now, at the time in the 90s and early 2000s, Batman Beyond was not received well at all. I mean, they switching Batman, like Bruce Wayne's not him, like people, had, grown men were having a fit. But I mean, this is techie. This is, for the time, it's it's it's, it's punk. It's, it's, it's sway, okay? It's very sway.
Okay, so season three, four, and five of the Batman all have the same theme song. Um, this was a great song. It combined elements of the Adam West classic Batman and a, a, a new upbeat version of the Batman. It matched the the update of the character. I mean, it, it was a it's a great song, which is why it's sitting so high at the list. Number three. Now this list is oh sorry guys, thanks. This list is tough. I, I I mean Batman the Brave and the Bold is sitting right now at number three, and I mean it's a great song. It's it's different. It's unique. It, it respects the golden and silver age of comics. Like it's it's a great song. It, the instrumentals blend perfectly well, um, but it it's just not number one. Number two. mind-blowing right the batman season one and season two theme is it's probably the perfect batman song but you ask how can it be perfect if it's number two well number one is going to blow your socks off drum roll please number one 